They built a perfect world for mice and called it Universe 25. Dr. Calhoun put eight perfect mice into paradise. Endless food, water, space, zero threats. At day 104, first litters born and population went above 60. Then, around day 200, there were 300 mice. First 300 days, classic hierarchy forms. Alpha males rule territories. Beta enforcers guard harems. Omega males get scraps and corners. Females nurse, nest, submit. Normal, brutal, functional. At day 315 to 472, population explodes to 1,600. Space runs out, the hierarchy cracks. Alphas can't defend everything anymore. Betas turn hyper-aggressive, attacking anything that moves. They maul females, pups, even each other. Omegas drop out completely, the first beautiful ones. They retreat to upper platforms. No fighting, no mating, no stress, only eat, sleep, groom. Mirror shiny fur, empty souls. Females, exhausted from constant attacks, abandon the maternal circuit. They become dominant, violent, solitary, kick pups out of nests, cannibalize. Some femlales mount other females in pure dominance displays. Day 560, 2,200 mice, peak population, zero social function left. The top berserkers are bleeding from endless fights, the panicked normals trying to raise young in hell, and then the beautiful ones, pristine, autistic, immortal until starvation, the infants, 100% mortality. Day 600, last birth. After that, the beautiful ones inherit the earth, a civilization of flawless, pointless perfection. Calhoun's words, when social roles can no longer be performed, the species chooses extinction over chaos. Calhoun ran the experiment 25 times. Every single time, abundance towards social collapse towards extinction, we're not mice, but we've got infinite calories, infinite dopamine, zero struggle. Wake up, rebuild the hierarchy that actually works, your bloodline, your move.